like a good Tuesday morning welcome back to the channel before we get going how about a big thumbs up and subscribe hit that notification bell and all before we get into this well, I'd just like to say well I just got done voting Ooh, did my civic duty and uh, I normally don't do this on this channel but I am going to mention uh, somebody I'm gonna mention Jody triple on three um, she sent me a lovely get well card with a little bit of humor in it um, I will I will show you what she sent me well I'm fogging up so I'm sorry if there's wind noise but I gotta crack that visor I'm gonna take a quick ride today just gotta clear my head you know a lot of you's uh use use a lot of use is use a word a lot of you know that uh, a couple of weeks ago that i uh got hit by a car and uh yeah i got banged up i got some whiplash and uh you know my doggy uh took a little bit of a tumble down the street so she sent me a lovely get well card with a little bit of humor involved so I will um, show that at the end of this video I will take a picture of it and show you all Jody and Tommy G thank you so much for the card it really put a smile on my face because I tell you what the amount of forms I have to fill out after being hit you would have thought that I was the um, the one that did the arm um, hitting and not the victim here you would have thought I was the perpetrator it's absolutely ridiculous so and seeing where lane filtering is illegal in Florida I will not scoot down beside these cars and turn right because it's uh, it's grumpy old man's luck that I'm the guy that gets pulled over And it's a chilly day out, 61. We had a little bit of a cold front come through last night and uh, gave us a little bit of rain, some much needed rain. So that's it, just pull out in front of me. That's a much needed rain. And it's cool out. Like I said. So I think I can close that now. Get rid of that wind noise. So yeah, just gonna do a quick video and uh I'll do an update. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. My uh neck still hurts. Not as bad as it did. Um I will see how I, I have a chiro chiropractor doctor's appointment tomorrow morning and if everything goes well with that I will take my wife out to our favorite Mexican restaurant in Sebring. I was going to do the um, Frostproof Barbecue Company but the roads out there aren't in the best of shape because of um, all the mosaic trucks that are out there and uh, they're pretty washboarded up. And I really don't want to ride over washboard for 40, 45 miles. So I will take her out to Sebring to our Mexican, favorite Mexican restaurant, uh, Don Jose's. If any people are out in the Sebring area and uh, you want good Mexican, Don Jose's. Um, I'll do a vlog on that tomorrow. I, I know I've done one in the past, but... You know, when you got a favorite place to go and the food is outstanding, you kind of stick with it, you know? So. And I think maybe I'll buy myself a lottery ticket. Seeing where the, uh, I don't know, what is it? Mega Millions, Powerball, something or other is, you know, over 800 million, I think it is, so. I'll spend, ooh, that was a bump and a half. That one, oh, that stung. That stung. Yeah, so I'll, I'll spend two bucks on a ticket. I think they're two bucks. And I'll uh, see what's what. I 
with all the construction around here, the roads go to crap and they, uh, just endless traffic. I tell you, if you want to learn how to slow speed ride and land that friction zone with your clutch and um, your rear brake, man, just get stuck in a traffic jam down here, boy. You'll get real good at it real fast. <laughs> Ah, that's no lie. Probably need a new clutch at the end of 15 miles. It's terrible. Absolutely horrific. So. So does anybody have any trips planned for the summer? I need you people to comment. I mean, I, I get I get very little commenting on any of my videos at all. I mean, I, I at least appreciate a wave. I get very little likes. I don't know if you don't. People don't tell me what I I I not blah. Probably delete the blooper there. If you people do not tell me what you want me to talk about. I run out of ideas. I mean, I've complained about the amount of building around here. I've complained about the snow turds. Yes, I call them snow turds and not snowbirds because, man, they just screw everything up. They refuse to drive at our desired speed. Stay out of the left lane if you can't keep up with the Floridians. Yes, I know I'm a transplant, but I assimilated immediately. If I'm going 80 in the left lane and somebody comes up on me, I move out of their way and I will fall in behind. The left lane is for people that can afford speeding tickets. And in the nine years I have lived here, I think I have seen three people pulled over for speeding. The police have better things to do than pull you over for speeding. And besides, the police are there to clean up the mess and write the report after the fact. Like I said, they got bigger things to worry about. Drugs and murder and every other dang thing. So. Who's got summertime plans? Who, whose winter mods are finishing up? Come on, people. Give me something to talk about. I'm getting tired of rambling about the same old crap. I mean, the roads I drive, I mentioned this to... I mentioned this, uh, I commented on retired Holly Riders page and he mentioned about, you know, driving up and down the same old roads and I goes, it's like that Beach Boy song. You get tired of driving up and down the same old strip and blah, 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 we gotta go where the people are, the girls are hip or whatever the lyrics are. Cause I can't remember lyrics. I got mush for brains. Speaking of mush for brains, this whole mush for brains thing started after I got COVID. So, does anybody have any lingering effects from COVID? If you had COVID, have your brains turned to summer squash that's been pureed? Does mine surely have? It seems like it's the short term memory too. If anybody is uh, suffering any of those effects, uh, chime in down below, leave me a comment, give me something to talk about on my next video, except, hey, yeah, look at the pretty cow, look at the nice house, these roads suck, look at all the building they're doing, they're screwing everything up, 
Well, oh, here's a gripe for you. All these politicians and all these environmentalists, they're all talking and complaining about global warming. Oh, yes. There's a trigger word for you. Global warming. So, here is my thing. Why are they letting all these developers down here mow down thousands, I mean thousands upon thousands of acres of land and they pile all the trees up in big massive piles I mean gigantic piles and then they burn them so why, why are we letting the developers burn all of this stuff to add to the quote global warming I think it's pretty ludicrous to be honest with you That's my biggest gripe right there. They all complain about global warming, and then what do they do? They go out and uh, they set gigantic fires, and they burn everything. I got a better idea what to do with all that trees they cut down. Why don't they grind it up and turn it into mulch? It'll turn to dirt eventually. And it's a lot better than to the environment if you let it mulch, turn to compost than it is to, uh, you know, set it on fire and add pollution and toxins to the air. Nope, they don't want to hear that because all these politicians are dirty. They all got their hands in the developers' pockets while the developers are just paying them off. So, that's my gripe and my bitch for the day. There's more right here. Three months ago, this wasn't here. And they already got new houses up. I honestly believe they can do a house in a, in a, in a week. I've seen the slab go in, the slab sits there for about seven days, and then they lay in block and put in a house up. And, it, and it's weather tight in about a week. And they got more crews than you can shake sticks at. So, so that's my uh, that's my gripe. All the burning. You get beautiful days like this where it's 60 degrees out on a nice nighttime. And depending upon which way the prevailing wind is blowing, you can't even sit outside and enjoy it because you got the smell of smoke 24/7. Yeah, there's another development coming soon. 55 plus resort. Uh, you people that want to buy into 55 plus, make sure you own the land because otherwise they're just going to gouge you on the lot rent and it'll go up about 10% a year if you're not careful. But I think that's going to be housing 55 plus which is just as bad the HOA fees. Alright, well, I think I'm done unless I'm not. I may chime in with a postscript and plus I gotta post that little humorous decal that uh, Purple on 3 sent me. Thank you Jody. I appreciate it and I love you guys. We'll have to get lunch sometime when either I'm up there or you're down here. Alrighty. Oh, that's about it like I said unless I have a postscript. So as usual, give me a big thumbs up. Peace and God bless.